Welcome to VTuber Studio. If you haven't heard of VTuber Studio before, we have created an open source project for you to customize and stream in your very own studio and Unreal Engine. You will find that apart from integrating media inputs and outputs, we've also offered different integrations such as LiveLink, Twitch, and VMC. So follow the rest of this tutorial series to learn how to clone this project, and we'll cover topics such as dependencies, animation blueprints, swapping out your environments using persistent levels, avatar customization and retargeting, as well as full body tracking via OSC and VMC. Um, and welcome to this week's VTuber stream. Um, welcome to this week's VTuber game uh, development open Q&A. So in, these week, um, in this week's Q&A session, we'll be walking through how to set up your VMC receivers in your scene. Um, it's actually quite intuitive, but we'll be using um, the OSC uh, server to listen in on your VM incoming VMC data. So just a second, I'm just going to quickly um, set up my Discord and make sure I can read your messages. Oh, um, yes, you're watching a live stream. I was just playing an earlier, um, an earlier video. Can you hear me well now? Oops. Making sure that you can hear me. Hello, can you hear me now? Sorry, I think I just, um, my internet just stopped for a bit, but hopefully that was all fine. I'm just going to share my screen again. Right, so hopefully we've returned. Great, so I think, yeah, I just accidentally quit um, uh, Discord. Yes, so this week, this week we've switched to dates with uh, virtual production. I'll be, we'll be talking through our VTuber Studio workflows today and particularly looking at VMC. So we've used um, full body tracking and we're going to learn how to stream full body tracking data in in Unreal. So we'll be learning up how to set up VMC to get this full body uh, tracking data um, from XR Animator and then we'll be then using that to retarget the animation data to MetaHumans. So I'll be showing you uh, quickly how it works. So again, if you haven't followed our VTuber Studio project before, we have been working on um, this VTuber Studio template for anyone to quickly customize their VTuber stream. And particularly what's really interesting at the moment is that we're using um, one, a single webcam for full body tracking. Um, and we'll be using this external application, XR Animator, to capture the body. Um, and then using media pipe, which is in uh, a Google's media pipe to detect poses and track face from this webcam video stream. And we'll be sending those data directly um, via OSC using a VMC receiver and then retargeting, retargeting those poses in MetaHuman. So it's a few steps there, but we'll be covering every step today. And on the side, we've also built a custom OWL interactive streamer plugin, which is our Twitch integration plugin. And this will be released very soon, where we're looking at um, um, listening in chat, sending Twitch chat, as well as subscribing to different Twitch events. So if that's something of interest, feel free to clone our project. Um, before we start, our first release is already up on GitHub, so you are also free to kind of um, clone the project and simply click on releases here we'll, where you'll find the latest release and then download this zip file. And once that's done, you just need to kind of generate Visual Studio um, files, build the solution, and then this will open perfectly on Unreal. So hopefully that's all clear. But for now, let's have a look at the VTuber Studio project. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna quickly open up the XR Animator application for you to see how this project 
um, can stream um, body motion, um, body tracking data in. So I'm going to click start. You should be able to see a window here. So we're currently repackaging this application, but um, to start streaming and to initialize your webcam, you basically only have to click this first button, um, which it will then very quickly initialize mocap and stream motion into Unreal. And once that's done, you'll see that the um, you'll see that the project in Unreal has already come with. Uh, VMC receivers, so you click on the first one and click on server listen and it will very quickly uh, stream mocap data in. Sorry, my Wi-Fi might be a bit slow, which is why. So now, now you can see that um, it is fully tracking my fingers as well as my full body. And um, here you can also choose different type of motion capture. So I usually go for a media pipe tasks version, which is a complete full body tracking system. It runs the best on kind of higher spec computers, um, but it will track um, all kind of like facial tracking um, data as well as full body. So you can see here, like all the fingers are moving accordingly. And we're still trying to solve a thumb issue, which if you zoom in a little, you'll see that the thumbs aren't perfectly configured yet on the kind of, um, but it's a slight rotation issue, which we'll be able to fix very soon. So right now, all the fingers are semi-working and body tracking data is also streaming in perfectly. There's very little latency, maybe there's more on the mouth, but in terms of like the body, it's moving really well. So you think about um, kind of performing as a VTuber online, this is a really, really good single webcam solution for you to um, try out. And this project is also free to clone, so feel free to let us know what you think about the project. And just clicking into the v VMC receiver, um, what this is is basically a blueprint, um, a blueprint that is an OSC that is an o OSC server, and it will receive um, IP address which uh, at 127.0.1 .1, and this is your local host and the port number is 39539 and under XR animator you'll see that uh, in VMC protocol it is um, this is the kind of like output port so we'll be using the same port to listen in on um, the server once you have this blueprint in your scene there's nothing there's nothing else you need to configure but you just need to click server listen and for mocap data to be uh, mapped on metahumans, we will basically need to use an animation blueprint to get this data. And so what I've actually done here is I've created an animation blueprint to take in to take in this type of um, VMC data and then and then I'll explain this a little more. Um, but yes, due to the high graphic settings, um, yeah, absolutely. So um, if you wait for a couple of weeks um, from now, we'll be able to release like a full set of tutorials. Um, there are already tutorials on how to clone the project and install the dependencies as well as streaming your, um, your video outputs um, 
via Spout or NDI, but we'll be coming up with more tutorials that will show you how to configure VMC and Live Link for quick VTuber streams. Um, I've currently tested on the kind of 2000 range of NVIDIA graphics card, and it has worked all right. Um, but I've heard from users who have the NVIDIA uh, A2000 that it, it it is um it is struggling a bit, so it might be that um that's something to look at um that's something to look at uh, and I'll try to optimize that project a little more um but yes um i'd I'd love to kind of like try to have a look at this p c um try to look at this p c to uh, specs to see how much I can get it down for and how I can run it on different specs PC. Currently I'm in the process of um, just commenting everything to make sure the nodes are very easy to understand. Um, but in the Anim graph, um, one thing I've worked out in the previous streams is that um, in order for rotations to work well, they need to be streamed from outwards in. So the fingers go first and then the spine last so that the rotations aren't um, confusing. So let's say if the um, um, clavicle or shoulder is already rotated by a bit, you don't want it to kind of um, the fingers to rotate a different way. So because we're streaming the rotation of pitch, yaw and ro uh, roll, it'll be ideal to kind of like make sure that the order is right for the stream. Um, but yeah, feel free to let us know if you have any questions. I'll be working through, yeah, I'll be definitely working through the, the kind of QA and testing on different specs soon. And um, also feel free to let us know if you have any uh, problems setting up the fingers. Um, like finger tracking and everything else. But yeah, um, so apart from the kind of uh, animation blueprint, um, you can also switch different animations to different animation assets. So I've already retargeted a set of Mixamo animations. So these are sitting ones. So now you can see that, although my face is still tracked using um, using XR Animator, like here, like so, my body is um, using a kind of like animation asset. So that's also something to to uh, that's easy to customize. We've also got Live Link, so we thought that with Live Link it might be easier to um, use Live Link for the face, but also have different animation assets there. But yeah, um, in this case, um, yeah, thank you so much for listening, and please feel free to let me know if there are any issues um, when you come up with um, cloning the project and stuff, and we'll be releasing a new set of tutorials soon. But yeah, um, thank you so much for joining and we'll be catching you next week with um, next Wednesday I'll be streaming um, again on the kind of VTuber side of things and Rick will be sharing his stream next Thursday. But feel free to let us know if you have any questions, setting up anything to do with um, VTuber Studio or even just setting up streams and that will be really, really good. Um, just have a quick look. Great. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Um,
Yes. Was there a bit of latency? Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for joining. See you soon.